So this is the main pedestrian street. It's Thursday evening. We got a lot of people walking around, so I'm just gonna walk right into these crowds of people. And um, the, the sun is going down, the lights are coming up. So stay tuned, we're gonna walk all the way down to the end. And there's some European buildings down there that we're gonna capture once we get to the other side. And we're gonna capture all the people along the way as well. All right, so stay tuned. Wuhan, this is uh, Jianhan Road, the main pedestrian street in Wuhan. So um, I have filmed it before and I'm filming it another day and a different time period, just kind of comparing what it's like. But this particular one, it's I'm gonna walk all the way down to these kind of European monuments kind of closer to the river. So that's something that I didn't film in the past ones. And I'm just kind of getting to show you more of uh, Wuhan as well because there's a nice vibe at this particular time of night. So it's actually one of the, maybe the most interesting streets in all of Wuhan to film with the most interesting people and just the energy. It's like kind of the place to be basically. So um, that's what this is gonna be about. I'll show you on the map so you can see exactly where we are. And then you can also notice that down below, you can see all these links because I've put, um, I'm creating a little set of 18 different Wuhan parts of the city. And this is number 13, I believe. So we're about a little bit, little, little past two thirds of the way. So that means you might want to subscribe because I still have at least another five more to, to upload and show you. So, um, so anyways, let's get right into this one. And um, I'm going to do a little bit of music first. And then we're going to do the walk and talk where I have the camera kind of like the verse, first 30 seconds. And then I can um, walk through the whole experience and narrate all the stuff that's around us. Okay, Wuhan. It's called uh, Jinghan Road. And we could go in either direction. That direction looks pretty good too. But I'm going to go all the way down. <laughs> That's where all the interesting stuff happening on this busy pedestrian street. It's a Thursday night. Let's see which way to go. So, okay. There's some popular restaurant over there. These guys honk the horns a lot because they're, they, um, they are, uh, uh, oh, you gotta watch this. Uh, it's okay. Recorder, watch. Uh, no, thank you. How much? Uh, no, I don't want to watch. So I think that guy is one of two people that are kind of relentlessly, relentlessly selling watches on the street. Oh, okay. I think I heard there's performers on the street, and I think we're gonna come up on one now. That's cool. Thought I heard a performer. This is um, ear cleaning. So where did I hear? It sounded like there was a performer that was 
bringing attention to himself. Oh, I saw this long line yesterday. It is right there. So this long line, I don't know what it's for exactly. But we're gonna take a look. Oh, okay, so it's um okay. So yeah, that long line, that means that that food is probably really good. Oh, okay, so I thought that was a performer, but I think somebody over here is calling out a lot of bikes. So somebody is um, trying to get attention to their business. Hey. Ah, okay. So yeah, that was a food stall. I got some artists here. I think they're drawing this. I just saw something that people hate in Hong Kong. There's a little um <laughs> I think they're um I won't point it out. There's a lot of people in this area. Okay, so we're gonna keep on walking down. And then on the other end is um, it's kind of European houses. I won't point out the thing that I was gonna point out. If you saw it on camera, you can write it in the comments. by the lights. Okay, we need to get... I don't want to be walking and seeing everybody's backs. So I need to get to a spot where I can see people's fronts. So we're gonna walk on this side of the street instead. So now at this spot, I'm going to come back later, do a separate video. But the pedestrian street is kind of cool though. Um, Time-wise, it's about, I have to check the clock, but I think it's about 6.30 or 7 p.m. on the Thursday night. Everybody seems to be going that way that, um, that I'm going. So I'm getting people's backs. Okay. The lighting kind of changes a little bit down here. So 
some hotels down here. Hotel Indy, Sutaya Bookstore. Got a couple of performers here. So we got this guy and this one. <laughs> hey! <laughs> We had a guy in yellow over there too. So I don't know, they might be performing later. We'll see. So the bookstore right there, that's uh, four stories high. You can see books way up at the top. And that is a chain that I've seen in Hirakata, Japan, where I used to live. Hirakata, Japan has a large multiple story bookstore. camera a little bit. A lot of YouTubers do this, right? Walk and talk. Um, I usually do not. I usually put the camera the other way because so we can see what I see through my eyes. And anyways. So we're coming up to this famous European looking structure with a Chinese flag on top and I think that this I saw like some kind of liberation statue down at the end and so I think that this was all part of the some kind of Euro British concession I think because there's a thing down here at the end about getting free from whatever that was my history of Wuhan is not that strong all I know is that I had concessions, much like Shanghai. And that there's a statue at the end as well. Right over there. Looks like there's some hop-on, hop-off tour buses too. Didn't know they had that. I could have got around Wuhan in style all day today. I was taking trains, going places. But I don't regret that at all. So what I'm going to do is just take a look at this big red tour bus looking thing. Yeah, that does look like a hop on hop off bus. Yeah. There's red buses right there. There's two of them. Yep, sightseeing buses. Okay. Let's see, Russell Chinese Bank, um, Financial Street Museum, 20 countries including Britain, Russia, France, United States, Germany, Japan set up concerts here. Okay. So I guess this sometimes, I guess I also saw them reference it as the Bund. And I think there's a waterfront over that way that I might be able to go to, possibly. Hmm. And so this was this uh, European little space that I was referring to. Okay. So 1927, and I guess this was against the uh, British. So now no, we're gonna end it. And so we basically just walked straight up that pedestrian street, right between these two buildings right here, and we came out at this kind of waterfront area. And I feel like there's waterfront area that I could get to and I think I'm going to try to do that if I can 